I'm Chamin Dejavadan, Senior Software Engineer at WSO2. In this screencast, I will give you an overview of the WSO2 ESB Analytics Server. We will discuss the WSO2 ESB Analytics feature and relevant configurations, and also touch on how you can analyze the services you developed with WSO2 ESB using the Analytics Dashboard. WSO2 ESB5 comes as a tuple of runtime, tooling, and analytics components. The ESB Analytics Server is also an extended version of WSO2 Data Analytics Server. It helps you to collect ESP mediation statistics and visualize them through the Analytics Dashboard, which is a fully utilized web application that comes with the WSO2 ESB Analytics Server. It supports multi-tenancy as well. Firstly, you need to have the ESB Server Distribution and ESB Analytics Server Distribution installed. And I'm using here ESB Tooling Component to enable statistics for an artifact. You can download all of these from the WSO2 ESB product page that's shown here. Now, Let's see how we can enable mediation flow statistics from the ESB server. We will see these three properties when you open up the synapse.properties file, which is in repository conf directory. By default, all these are in false state. You can see I have already enabled these three properties. Now, let's see how we can enable stats against ESB artifacts named API proxy service endpoint sequence and inbound endpoint. Using the management console you can simply enable and disable stats for a particular artifact. By using these two links provided by default you can see employee service API is there and I have enabled statistics and tracing here. And if we use the ESB tooling component to implement the particular artifact, you can enable stats from the implementation itself. Select your artifact. It's an API in this case. And enable stats using the property section. You can see tracing and statistic relevant properties are there. I have already made them true. There is also a global level configuration to enable stats for all the artifacts in the ESB server. You can see I have already enabled the property here. It is in the same synapse.properties file which we edited previously and located in the repository conf directory. When this is enabled, we do not need to enable statistics for each and every artifact manually. We have configured the ESB server to use ESB Analytics Server. So now it's time to perform a simple scenario. Let's see how we can deploy an artifact and enable stats in the ESB server and then invoke it. To install an API in the ESB server, I use the already created composite application called ESB underscore artifacts underscore one dot car. You can download this from the mentioned URL. You can see I have already installed the car file here and the API is available as stock code API here. So I am enabling statistics and tracing for the API. Now I am going to invoke the stock code API using REST clan. You can see I have sent couple of requests for the API. As you can see, my ESB server is running here and the ESP backend is running here and the analytics server is here. Now it's time to analyze the stats published from the ESB server. We invoked an API that has a couple of mediators in it. We can see summarized information in the overview page of the analytics dashboard. We can see the total requests that have come into the WSO2 ESB and success and failure rates as percentages. We can see 
top artifacts that received most requests here it's only an api and also we can see the overall throughputs of requests and overall message count shown in graphs and the other important feature is here to have the ability to summarize request detail in different periods named last year last 30 days last 24 hours and last hour so we can have a clear idea of ESB mediation flow stats by having a look at the overview page. We can see more details of the requests that come into the artifact by clicking on the name of the particular artifact. And there's a section called messages where we list each and every request that comes into the selected API. Once clicked on a single message ID, it shows the message flow diagram which visualizes what exactly happened to the message at each component inside the API as well as the time consume at each component. With this, a user can easily identify whether there are any bottlenecks. And also, the user has the ability to see mediator properties of selected mediator. We can click on a mediator and see payload data transport and context properties as before and after the mediation happened. I explained these features against an API, but all of these are supported for other types of artifacts in the same manner as well. Now, we believe you have a clear idea on how to use WC2 ESP analytics feature. We hope this was useful and you now have a clear idea of the WSO2 analytics feature. Thank you.